Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you the chicken feeder that I built. Alright, so I've been going online trying to figure out ways to uh, make the feed in the, uh, in the chicken coop last longer. I have one of those hanging feeders and they work great, but they only hold you know, so much food and they only last like a day, day and a half at most. Um, so I've been trying to figure out a way to hold more quantity. Uh, I went on YouTube and there's a couple videos there. Um, and then I went on Google Image and I got some uh, more image pictures of uh, uh, plywood type uh, feeders on there. And I got some ideas from here and there and I kind of made my own version. Um, so this is what I ended up building. So, uh, let me go through this real quick with you. Uh, when, I, when I built this, I didn't have any plans or anything. I usually don't do that. I don't build with plans. I get an idea in my head, or I'll see something somebody built, and I'll try and make something similar, um, make it fit to what I need. Uh, but I'll give you some rough uh, dimensions here so you'll understand, and maybe you can you know, build something similar. Um, the let's see let me start with let me start with the side here okay uh, on the side here this top piece right here I chose to put 35 degrees here uh, and there instead of 45 I was gonna go with 45 because I didn't want the birds to sit up here at all I want them to just slide right off but if I would have went with 45 you know I would have went down to here and I would have took from the volume of the inside of the container here and I wouldn't have been able to put as much feed. So I brought it up to 35 degrees and, uh, and I think it'll work pretty good. And I gave it an overhang here, that way if the birds do manage to sit up here, they, all, they won't poop inside the, uh, the feed. Um, so, okay, 35 degree angle. Uh, now this side piece right here, this piece that you see right here, this is one piece, okay? And that piece there is nine and a half. Now, not including the uh, bottom piece here, it should be two feet. Yeah, up to the very point here, it's two feet, okay? And that's just this piece, not including the lid or, or any of this. So it's nine and a half by 24 and with a 35 degree angle. Um, the overall length, now this, you can make it whatever you want, depending on what your needs are. But for me, it was 21 inches, the overall. Um, this front piece right here, uh, I use a half inch. This is, these are all three quarter inch plywood, all the way around except for the lid and this piece here. Um, but I uh, decided to use a half inch piece, a half inch for the top and for this here. Um, because I really it doesn't really have to be heavy duty, I guess you know. Uh, let's see. Um, now this piece right here tapers in, so the birds can get in there and, and uh, eat their feed. Let's see. We'll go from this side here. Now starting from here, it's flush and it tapers in, and it should taper in two inches. That opening is two inches. Okay. And can you see that in the camera there? But from the bottom of this piece to the bottom here, there's a one inch opening so the grain can go underneath there. Uh, let me get you in for a close up. Okay, so this piece here, there should, there's a, I have a one inch opening under here, okay? Okay, the hinges on here, I had to do something funky. Uh, I connected them to the inside of this board and and to the back here so it can lift up like this. Now the problem I'm going to run into is this is going up against a 2x4 stud, okay? So when this lid opens it's going to interfere here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this piece here and now it shouldn't interfere at all here as you can see right here. Okay? But here it would have, see if this was a 2x4 
it would have hit right here. But by putting this, I guess, spacer, we'll call it, now the board's going to be away. Okay, let me bring in to the inside and show you what I did there. All right, inside, as you can see, this board right here, I put a 45 degree angle on this board right here. So the grain, as the grain goes in, it'll push it down right under here. Okay? And I'll show you the back part here, what I did. That's basically what I did right there. I put a screw there, screw there, and a screw there. Now I put a, on this bottom piece board here, I put a 45 degree angle. I cut this on my uh, table saw. I put a 45 on there, and a little bit of a 45 on here to make this pretty much flush with here. It's not perfect, but it's okay. And the same thing on this board down at the bottom here, I put a 45 on that edge also. So, See, I can't do that there. Okay, I put a 45 on that edge so it fits nice and flush with the bottom piece. All right. So my other concern was when the birds come in here and they start pecking their food, sometimes they want to toss it and toss it out. Uh, if that were, were to happen, what I'm going to put in here is I'm going to put some dividers. Just small enough for them to stick their heads in there, you know. That way they won't be able to do that. And also, this feeder won't be sitting on the ground. It's going to be up high enough to where they can just get their heads in there and, you know, go down and touch the bottom here. But I don't want this thing any lower than their, you know, around their neck level. Uh, so their head should be able to just get in there and eat the food. Because if you put it down too low, they're going to start tossing it stuff everywhere. Alright, so the only thing I have left to do is put it in the coop, fill it up, and test it out and see if the birds uh, approve. Alright guys, this is the corner I'm putting the uh, chicken feeder. only thing I had to do is put this extra piece of 2x4 here uh, so I can screw from the inside, screw into it. So I'm not sure I'm going to have enough room here, and it's going to sit up against here, okay? Um, so let's go do that next here. Let's hook this thing up. Now, I don't know if you can see that here. I put these little T uh, brackets here uh, so I can hook it up to the board and onto the feeder. Sorry, but there's not much room in here. There, there you can see the brackets, the little T brackets. So I mounted them to the feeder, now I'm going to mount them to the 2x4. I could have drilled it in through here, but this is taking up a lot of that room, so I'd rather just do this here.
Okay, I have it all mounted in. Uh, I know you guys are thinking, well, why didn't you mount it inside the wall between the studs? I was going to do that, but uh, I wanted this. I wanted it to come out more to have more volume in the uh, in the feeder. Um, I didn't want to make it taller because I I didn't want this lid hitting up here. Um, but anyways, you get the gist of it. It doesn't have to look pretty. It has to work. That's all. That's the only thing to, that's important. Now for that hole back here, I just put I just cut out this uh, piece of scrap uh, wood I had, and I put it in there like that. So no chance of them falling in there. Then underneath, if and when I do get little chicks, I'll block it underneath there so they don't go crawling under there. But uh, other than that, it looks pretty good. Um, it may be a little low. I'm going to try it this height. If, uh, if, it looks, if it looks like they're making a mess, I'm going to raise it up. This feeder here, it's actually, this is actually a tad taller. Um, they don't make a, me a mess at all. So... I figured I'm going to make this the same height. Again, if they start making a mess, I'm going to put little dividers like, like that has. Just put little dividers in there. A uh, little, little uh, plywood, stick them in there. And um, see how that works. But for now, I think it will work. That's the only thing that's important. So this should be able to hold plenty of feed. Uh, so let's go fill this thing up and... Uh, See how the chicks like it. All right, guys. What I have here is one of those uh, pet food uh, containers. I have in there a, f a full 40-pound bag of feed, um, starter and grower feed, uh, plus with a little extra. So it's approximately 50 pounds in here. I'm going to see if it'll fit in here. I hope it does, but we will see. make things a lot easier for me. And let's go this way. Alrighty, here we go. There we go, 50 pounds. 50 pound bag. With a little room to spare. So this is good. As they pick this, it'll keep falling. Now the question is, will they eat out of it? Alright, as you can see, the chickens had no problems figuring out how to uh, eat out of the uh, feeder there. Um, it looks like it's going to work pretty good. I'm going to keep my eye on it. If, it. if they do end up spilling it everywhere, I'm going to put the little dividers in, like I said. Uh, but other than that, it works, uh, and I'm really happy with it. And it holds a whole 50-pound bag. <laughs> Alright, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here
I got time. 